everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about cross multiplication. This is a relatively straightforward math skill that is a great way to simplify an equation. Now what do I mean by simplifying an equation? Sometimes you have equations that are in formats like this one, or this one, or this one, and they seem quite complex. Cross multiplication is a way to simplify these equations in order to solve for a specific variable. Let's take this generalized example here. A divided by B equals C divided by D. The way cross multiplication works is you multiply these corners, getting A times D, and that is equal to the multiplication product of these corners, B times C. Now, all you have to do is determine which of these variables you want to solve for. For example, let's say you've been given A, B, and C, but asked to solve for D, well, you simply divide both sides by A in order to isolate D on one side of the equation. These A's cancel, and you get D is equal to B times C divided by A. And then you can just plug these numbers in to solve for D. And it's much easier than trying to work out this equation without cross multiplication. Let's look at another example. Here, we filled in numbers for some of those variables, and you're asked to solve for x. Again, simplify this using cross multiplication. This will tell you that 4 times 3 is equal to 6 times x. This means 12 equals 6x. Divide both sides by 6, and you get that x is equal to 2. Another place you might see this getting even more complicated is something like the combined gas law. The combined gas law is one that tells us how gases behave in certain conditions. That is, if a gas is at a certain pressure, volume, and temperature, and then two of those things change, say the pressure changes and the temperature changes, what is the new volume? So, if you were given a problem like that and asked to solve for the new volume of the gas, V2, just use cross multiplication. Multiply these corners, P1 times V1 times T2, so that's P1 times V1 times T2, equals the other corners, P2 times V2 times T1. Remember, we were asked to solve for V2. So we're going to divide both sides by P2 and T1. That means that this P2 and this P2 will cancel. These T1s will cancel. And we get the end product being that P1 times V1 times T2 divided by P2 times T1 equals V2. And remember that all of these values you would be given. So you can simply plug them in and solve for V2. That's another great example for how cross multiplication simplifies a rather difficult problem. So that is it for today on Biology Professor. I hope you learned a lot and thanks for watching.